do a comparison between these chemicals here. Now, so we've got Coke, because we all played with that in copper when we were kids, apple cider vinegar, cheap old white vinegar, um, this is a decking cleaner, wood cleaning product, it's some sort of an acid, and my favourite, it's uh, probably not even 100ml of molasses. So this is in the order that I think they're going to perform, or will be in a minute. I'm going to... That's probably how I think the performance gonna, is going to come in, with the strongest performer being the molasses. Probably that. That'll be five to one. I think the coke's going to work just because it's bad. Preparation cleaner for new and weathered exterior timber prior to coating. Removes tannin stains, restores natural colour, scrub in, wash off. Contains 67 grams per litre of oxalic acid and 30 grams per litre of hydrochloric acid. It doesn't add up. Most of them look the same except for the vinegars. You can see it's it's obviously done some sort of work. Interesting to notice is the uh, the molasses hasn't frothed up. Not very attractive. This looks promising. Okay, so what we learn here is forget about Coca-Cola. Did sweet nothing. Forget about decking scrub. It's I don't know what it's done. Here's the molasses, and I, I am surprised the uh, the surface rust is completely cleaned off, but the heavy rust is still there. I'm, I'm really surprised. It, it didn't froth, it doesn't smell fermented. I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually achieved the chemical reaction it needs. Um, there's the apple cider vinegar. Completely clean on the light rust side and just about there on the old rust side. And the white vinegar, nowhere near as good. So, white vinegar is probably the lower performer here, probably it's apple cider vinegar followed by the molasses.